discussion in this video today we will discuss the do's and don'ts of hand incisions and as we all know hand incisions are very commonly required during our day to day practice either for trauma or for tumors or for tendon explorations <coughs> and so on and so forth so in this hand we will see what not to do we will first discuss the don'ts of incisions and then we will see how to improvise them uh, on this hand so the basic principle which we all know but yet i want to be repetitive on that is we want to avoid straight line incisions which are crossing the joints so be it a straight line incision across one joint or be it a straight line incision across two joints or across mp joint or across the wrist joint all these incisions have to be avoided because these incisions cross the creases at around 90 degrees or so and what it leads to is hypertrophy because of movement at that particular place uh, and there is scar contracture and eventually it leads to finger contracture so these incisions are to be avoided at all costs how to modify them we will see in the second half in the second part again this part also needs mention incision over the pulp of the finger it is actually not a desirable incision because this is the area where there is pulp to pulp contact whenever we hold any objects so even in cases where this is avoidable if this part of the digit needs to be accessed and can be accessed through a different incision like a mid lateral incision or a mid axial incision it should be used rather than taking a direct vertical incision over the pulp now this was one part of it avoiding the crossing of the <coughs> creases at 90 degrees now second part which is probably more important and which many of us tend to do is taking incisions like this taking incisions over the deep creases deep creases might be the deep creases over the palm the proximal digital crease distal digital crease i mean to say the proximal palmar crease the distal palmar crease or it can also be over the digits the digital creases so this should be avoided because